Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, that is actually a spray bottle of Lime Away that was empty, and I melted it with the Fresnel lens. If you look at here, here's the trigger pump. That's the hose that goes down in there. Connected to that apparatus, which is mostly gone now. You can see right here is the, uh, that's the actual trigger. And then right there, it's the left over of the nozzle. And that was entertaining. Here's where it dripped. Um, but, and you know what, and I'll process all that. I've already reviewed it. And uh, I saw a couple of uh, issues that, uh, so this is just a test video, but it's a pretty good one. Um, two things I learned. Number one, here is the actual lens. I have not built a frame for it yet. I mean, it's in a frame, but a uh, stand for it. So it doesn't hold it itself up. And it weighs, you know, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds. But it's extremely awkward. And so when you have to hold it in place to melt something like this uh, for a good five minutes or so, it gets really, really hard to hold. So I've learned I don't want to try to do that again until I've got a stand for this. And um, also something curious that I found out was that the, uh, the white parts of it wouldn't melt no matter what. These parts, these white parts that did melt, um, started melting because the um, surrounding areas were green. But if I were to put it straight on like just the white part, it won't do it. You, you'll see in the time lapse that I was having a hard time with the pure white. And that may change when I polish it because that's uh, what you got to do to these to make them really get to high temperatures. One side is Fresnel and the other side is just um, lines. This is, uh, yeah, okay, so this is the side with just um, horizontal lines and then this one, this side has the Fresnel pattern. You want to keep the Fresnel pattern and you want to polish this side smooth and then you'll have something called a spot lens. What it is right now is a linear Fresnel lens, but you polish the other side, it becomes a spot lens, and it becomes like a magnifying glass, which will make things like this challenging because just putting it on there will just blow a hole right through the middle of it. Uh, so I don't know. I have two of these now. I might leave one a linear Fresnel, and I might make the other one a spot or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, the footage is somewhat entertaining, so I will play that now. And uh, I, I continue to experiment with this. Uh, we'll see what I come up with this. Enjoy. <laughs> 